a messy and potentially dangerous situation, and one that some riders say was getting worse. If you've ridden the subway late at night or early in the morning, you've probably noticed a lot more of this. Trash everywhere. It's gross. It's literally everything. It's articles of clothing, it's newspapers, it's bottles, cans. And a lot less of this. Subway cleaners picking it all up. And I see a lot of garbage. It's on the tracks, it's on the platform. Plastic bags, bottles, cans, all left behind. Some of it after the MTA cut some of their overnight shifts last year in an effort to cut costs. I don't know where they come up with this stuff. It's counterintuitive. It makes no sense. The shift change part of a pilot program that moves station cleaners off their overnight shifts on several lines and onto other shifts instead. The hope that it would also mean tidier stations. It could be cleaner. Could be cleaner. Yeah. That's what the MTA ended up deciding too. So now they're bringing those shifts back. It's good to hear. Riders also grateful for an increased sense of security, knowing that subway workers are around. Well, obviously, because they're an official representative, and I also believe, you know, at, in those ex late hours, you know, it's a little better to have more of a presence. Just have a human being around if, if there's somebody pestering you. And those overnight shifts are expected to go back into effect sometime early next year. In the Kingsbridge section of the Bronx, Mark Liverman, CBS 2 News. Well, we did ask the MTA how many workers were moved from their overnight shifts and how many subway stations and lines were affected, but we have not received an answer.